my name is John Tung. I'm a pastor. Actually, my wife and I have had one income for uh, most of our child raising years. We had uh, three kids at, at college at one time because they're only 38 uh, months apart. So let me just give you a, a quick rundown how that can be done. All of, first of all, I want to say our kids are I say, average intelli intelligence. They didn't get into Ivy League schools, but they got into good schools. Um, we didn't have any uh, savings really for them. Um, so this is how we did it. With the first one, okay, she uh, applied as a physical therapist to a, a program at Boston University. And since that was a brand new program, they really tried hard to make it possible for this new group of students to go. So she had a significant amount of scholarship. But aside from that, she was some, there was some savings she had. She also worked and work study during the school. We contributed a certain amount because we had finished paying off our car loans. We just simply used that same money towards college. And then there was, of course, school loans you can always take. That's one thing great about America. You could always borrow for your education and pay for, pay for it later on. So that was the first one. The second one also wanted to go away from to, to college, and she didn't want to go to the local school, the University of Maryland. She wanted to go to something like Boston University. We thought with the second child, because it's two in college, that she would also get significant aid. But actually, she got very, very little aid, which surprised us. But anyway, we made it work because we felt if your first, if the first child went, who are we to deny the second child the same, second op the same opportunity? She would be so upset with us. So we contribute more towards the second daughter's uh, school work. Plus, she also worked in the summer during the school year. There was more loans. When she applied for financial aid the second year of her college, somehow that second year she got a lot more aid. So again, it's always a combination of aid loans and your own work and parents' contribution that makes it work. Both of those girls were in private universities, Boston University, so we did that. The third child was, in, uh, was a freshman. He got accepted to a private school as well, but he wanted to be closer to home, so he went to University of Maryland, Baltimore County. He also, through a combination of grants, scholarships, and our assistance and his work, made it work. So this is how you do college without having 529s.